This is part two from how to configure and create Cisco wireless network from A to Z. In part one, we discussed how to factory set the Cisco wireless controller and how to distribute the IP address through Cisco DHCP service. And we joined the access point automatically and it's all done and working. Now, in the first lab, wireless controller and the access point and the client they are all in the same vlan which was vlan 18. now we would like to create another vlan to distribute it to the new clients and to distribute a new ssid so we have two workplaces we will work on the course watch and the course switch to distribute the vlan to create vlan and DHCP pool backend we will make some configuration on wireless controller step by step is written the configuration and everything here in steps to node.blog.spot on the course switch we will create a VLAN and interface VLAN and configure DHCP pool no need here to put option 43 these balls only to distribute IP address in this VLAN to the clients uh, with the new SSID. So once the client chooses the new SSID, it will get IP address from this configuration. And from wireless controller, here is what we will do. So let's begin our practice lab. Uh, I'll go to my course switch here. VLAN 90 name new Wi Fi client exit interface VLAN 19 IP address no shutdown DHCP pool I'll copy this let's check now run IBDH support VLAN it's all configured show VLAN VLAN 19 good 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 now we have to configure our controller with what we're gonna do here we gonna create two interfaces we already created one interface which is which is the management here on the red light this is a controller this is the interfaces we have we have only one management interface which IP address 10 10 18 2 so we are going to create another interface and create another SSID and join or link this SSID to this interface so first I'm gonna create as a document new uh, interface VLAN what we called it here VLAN 19 okay VLAN 19 19 apply 
here what's important here is port number port number one the port number one in the Cisco LS controller and the uh, interface I'll put uh, IP address for management interface it's 10 10 19.23 whatever you need I'll put three and uh, mask <coughs> gateway is 10 10 19.1 which is we built here in the course show IB interface brief interface William Satasher 19 10 10 19 1 good 10 10 19 1 uh, DNS server is the same and we do apply changing the interface parameters causes of run to turn okay back so now we have two interfaces uh, three including the virtual vlan 19 it's vlan identifier 19 this is the ib the management ib for the controller to deal with other networks in the our network and it's dynamic it's disabled disabled why because we didn't yet finished we'll go to wireless lan and create new wireless LAN uh, we will call it Wi-Fi sorry Wi-Fi 2 VLAN 19 this is ID which will be broadcasted to clients Wi-Fi 2 and the ID it is the second apply uh, but the security uh, pre-share the key and here is okay apply we have to do safe configuration okay go back it's successfully saved our configuration now let's make it enable enable it from here enable apply safe configuration okay good back it's now enabled and let me check in my computer if can see it this is well this my clients no clients I'll try to connect from laptop first to the the old one connect it appears that I'm connected now clients now this is my laptop it's connected and take these IP address so it's in the old it's this is the one profile taking from the old VLAN so I'll now connect from my mobile to Wi-Fi 2 I called it Wi-Fi 2 I named it Wi-Fi yeah Wi-Fi 1 okay okay Wi-Fi no problem okay now it's appeared to me Wi-Fi 1 I connected password connect try to connect now it should take IB range from 10.10.10.19 any I any number so I'll go to client no this is my telephone it no 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 there is something wrong
it should take 10, 10, 19 ticks or whatever. But what is the problem? The problem is that we didn't link the interface we have created here, interfaces, this interface, I should link it to the, this one interface. Let me check. This is what we created. I have here to choose the interface VLAN 19, which we created. Apply, okay. Save configuration. Now it is disappeared from Wi Fi on my telephone. On my mobile, yes. So I'll try to reconnect. Is acquiring DHCP settings. Now it's done. This is my mobile. And this is the network. IB network from the new VLAN. That's it. I hope this has been informative for you. Thank you for viewing. If you found these have been informative for you, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And this is a blog. You can follow my labs. And inshallah, it will be helpful for you. Thank you.